This is After Opie and Anthony Live. Here's your host, Sam Roberts. Oh yeah, and it's not just Sam Roberts today. No. With me is the legend, the award-winning entertainment reporter, the man that, quite frankly, the man that I've shared a bed with. His Hollywood Highness, Ian Halpern, is still here, hanging out. How do you think your big return? I mean, people don't know that. A lot of people, if you if you Google image uh, Ian Halper and Sam Roberts, will come up. You can find a photo of the two of us. Yeah, you you was, wearing uh, very little clothes, me that was, fully. Clothed. That was like two and a half years ago, at least. Well, that was for you. You held a bed in. That's right. In the what hotel was that at the war? I don't know. It was right around. It was in yeah, this it neighborhood. It was in Midtown. It was in Midtown. Uh, the Warwick. Because you held a bed. It was bed the Warwick, in. right? I, it the sounds Warwick right. Hotel. Yeah. yeah, that was interesting because of uh, my book about Arnold. Arnold. Came out. And I remember yeah. that uh, you called in. Uh, Troy and me went down to, to report on you live on the scene at the bed in. Yeah. And it was a creepy scene, to tell you the truth. Yeah. I mean, you know, we got there early. And so it was just, it was me and Troy and then you and your guy. And you were kind of just in bed with no clothes on, yeah. and I was. I said, you know, I'm, I'm glad Troy's here because I don't. I, I wouldn't want to be <laughs> and here. Troy alone. climbed in. He did. Uh, yeah, Troy took his clothes off and yeah. climbed in himself. But it was that you was. You know what happened with that book? What that happened? Was interesting. The book, that was the governor. Yeah, correct. The book originally tanked. Um, they did a deal with the media to really shut me down. Who did? Um, to this day, I presume it was the Shriver camp. Mm -hmm. She's much more powerful than Arnold. Now, is this because this book, The Governator, had all kinds of secrets about Arnold's yeah, it past? It had all the sex life in there, everything. Right. And then four months later, my phone starts ringing off the hook. Everybody who, you know, usually when I do a book, I go on Entertainment Tonight, Inside Edition, uh, Extra, all the big shows. I mean, the Michael Jackson CNN, book put you yeah. over the top, didn't it? Yeah, even before then, I always did the shows. Your big Today show, big star, and not a big star, but you know, I always worked the media and did yeah. all the promo, in which you need to sell books. And uh, anytime I was on Howard's show, I mean, that Howard and Oprah were very powerful for as far selling as book books. selling. Absolutely, and this case, nobody wanted me on, so I held the bed in. And that really didn't do too much. No, Before, if I remember correctly, it was me and Troy that showed up. And then some European, like well, British. BBC. You're talking the, about the biggest broadcaster in the world. Not okay. some not some European, Sam. Look, You're talking about the biggest broadcaster on the planet. Well, I, up. I, I don't watch them. Yeah, well, they are the biggest. The BBC shows yeah. up and they put out this video. Yeah. And we watched it on the show, but mm -hmm. the video had your hotel and your room number in the video. Yeah, and then people started showing up. I mean, <laughs> yeah. that was pretty unprofessional. I mean, that doesn't uh, seem right at no, all. No, that was really... You talk about the BBC being yeah. the biggest thing there is. You'd think yeah. they'd know to blur out the room number. We yeah, got you, I, we I got you very, on your... I was very un unimpressed with that because people did show up after. and uh, Plus they're ordering room service to yeah. your room. Yeah, it was you know, crazy. It's, it's insanity. But what happened in a nutshell, four months later, mm -hmm. I get a call. This was after the bed-in. Yeah. Four months go by. The book tanks. Everybody and their uncle now wants me on their show because of his of the news of his son. Right. Now, did you out. know this is when we found out that Arnold had had sex with his uh, housekeeper? Housekeeper. Mil Mildred Baena, her name. And it had a, uh, apparently, is this alleged or factual? I'm well, assuming alleged? I don't well, know. Well, this was factual. Factual. Okay. I mean, and had, a, it, had yeah. a son by her. So, uh... Was this in the book? Did you know it about this? It was originally in the book, right? And the publisher took it out for legal. We kept in a lot. We kept all his dalliances in there. You knew all this, his... but you couldn't have it in. Yes, because you know, anytime you write a book, it's vetted by lawyers. Of course. You so we had sued. it in. They take it out, but everybody knew I had it in. So all of a sudden, I have every broadcaster in the world hunting me down. Mm -hmm. Wanting me to fly to New York, to Los Angeles, to London, to Paris, yeah, to Austria, where the governor's from. Of course. And I said, dude, we're going to do this on His Highness's terms now, because nobody wanted me a few months ago. I made them all show up at a secluded destination. Why? Because I, I wasn't going to do another... Uh, Just to flex your power? Another roadshow. No, not to flex my power. How come it had to be a secluded because, destination? Because I wanted to kill everything with one stone. I do interview after interview. Gotcha. A private destination. Gotcha. And they all showed up. 
And about two months later, this was still going on. I mean, I was doing extra. So ET. did the book end up selling at we that point? Well. We did very well. With now, that. do you put your own money into these books? No, I mean. Okay, so when a book tanks, it's like it makes it tough to do another book, but you're not losing cash. No. You get the nice either. advance. Yeah, you get the advance, and we've seen. I'm sure you've seen many authors fade into oblivion. Sure, uh, especially especially I, celebrity journalist authors. Yeah, of course. You know, that's course. a that's a fleeting profession. Absolutely. Is it not? Well, depends who you are. I mean, right. people like myself, Christopher Anderson, Kitty Kelly, we last because we work hard selling books. Jackie Collins. Yes. Are you familiar with Jackie? Yeah, of course. Have Colin. you had her on the show? No. You know, she works it more than anybody. She'll show up at shopping centers. She'll show up anywhere to sell a book. She, you got to work it. It's like being a band. Now, 866-WOW-1-WOW is the phone number. And let's also, yeah. let's get some chicks on the phone. Cause like, I'm oh, only going to talk to chicks. Oh, and I had you on today. And a lot of dudes calling up, but we need to prove to Ian that there's some estrogen listening. Well, first of all, I want to thank o and Yeah, of course. Um, they are really legends in the radio business. Uh -huh. And it was great to be back. And uh, how did you think the show went? I think it went very well. But yeah. I want to know why, why have you been gone so long? Is it uh, because we haven't been inviting you? Is it because you've been busy? Uh, no. Uh, you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. This was strategic and, uh, on your part. No, no, not at all. I, I just really, I feel it was strategic on both parts. Mm -hmm. We needed a break. Mm -hmm. I mean, things were getting a bit heated a couple of years back. We had a good run. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, you got into some altercations specifically with Anthony in the past. Yeah, but Anthony's a great dude. He is a great you dude. You know, I, I have a lot of, uh, I have a profound respect for Anthony. But you used to call in and mention having sex with his ex-girlfriend a lot. That's years ago. I mean, you know. That was like your thing. Like, that was your it deal. It was just a joke. I mean, okay. it, it was, <laughs> it, look, Anthony and I, I think there's a respect there. I think a mutual the, the, the respect. dude has survived for eons in this business. Eons? Eons. Oh. Do you know oh. how to spell eons? I-O-N? Very good. Nice. You, you obviously, uh, you went to Princeton. Where, where did you go? To? Syracuse University. Good school. Derek Coleman. Yeah. Yeah. Good center for them. Uh, I got a lady Pearl, on the phone. Earl, Pearl. Do you know Pearl Washington? I don't know Pearl Washington. You don't know who Pearl Washington is? Do you know Lady Trucker? No. Lady Trucker. You're on with Ian Halperin. You asked for estrogen to call, so I called. Now, a, well, first off, where are you calling from, trucker? I'm in North Carolina. What part of North Carolina? Henderson, North Carolina. And how's the weather today? In uh, it's nice and warm. It's about 72. You having a good time? No. Why not? Are you lonely? I'm very lonely. Oh, and yeah? I'm just, yeah, yeah. Have you seen I'm photos just, of Ian Halperin? No, I'm well, not I'm available. Just, no. I'm not I'm available, but let's play his highness date, th okay? I'll be like your J date today. What's your demographic for guys? First of all, are you, are you into men or women? Great question. I'm a dick licker. She all loves right. licking dicks. Ian, you have a dick, correct? Uh, last time I checked. Do you Good. have a dick? I do. You I do? do indeed. I checked yesterday. Uh, now... What color is your dick? It's the same complexion as the rest of my body, it which matches? is a, yeah, which is a, an off white, yeah, I guess. I got yeah. peach. Because you, yeah. you do look a bit a bit albino. Yeah, has albino. Anybody, yeah, has anybody told you that before? I mean, I guess pasty, pale. Yeah, a bit. You, yeah. You, you need a bit of a vacation, Sam. You think so? Yeah. Where should you I go? Take, uh, Somewhere where the sun shines. Yeah. Maybe uh, Kingston, Jamaica. The sun doesn't shine too often in this studio, Ian. You've it been doesn't. in here. No, it doesn't. But you have nice lights. Yeah. I mean, you should be getting color from these lights. Lady, are you with us, lady? Lady Trucker. Yes, I'm with you. All right. First off, what's your demographic, the age? Do you want Do you want a guy 95 plus, 100 million in the bank? Yeah. Do you want, you want an older cock or a nice young one? Nice young young cock. I'm a cougar. How How old? Uh, under 30. Wow, that is a young one. That's, and, that's younger than me. And do you prefer kosher cock? Do you prefer ghetto cock? What right. type of cock do you like? That's a great question. Well, I'm a size queen. Okay, so you're thinking black. It doesn't have to be black. It can be Italian, too. You want a big, fat, young salami, huh? That's right. Wow. And if there's one schlong <laughs> that you could... Be compatible with. Let mm. me ask you a question. Let, let, let me just get an example, right. trucker, right. of the type of schlong you're looking for. If I put Lano, if I put LeBron, mm -hmm. or Latifa, 
Great Which question. one do you take? Does the Queen Latifah have a penis? Uh, I haven't checked. Okay. I would go with Leno. Leno, Leno. over LeBron? Very interesting. Yeah. What about Opie over Anthony? Who do you take there, Opie or Anthony? Well, Opie's married, so I'd have to go with Anthony because he's got that adorable little beavis with him. Have you ever fa fantasized about Anthony? No. Well, Anthony's a little too old for her. Thank you, Lady Trucker. I can't talk to Lady Trucker all day. Lady Trucker is not physically... Trucker, Trucker, are you there? No, she's gone. She's gone. She's gone. Have a good day, Trucker. Let's go back to the lines. All right. Uh, uh, Roberts, Doug in Boston. We're, we're on the Sam Roberts Show. That's right, Doug. Post O&A. Prime time, Sam Roberts, professional broadcaster. How are you, buddy? I'm great. How are you? Ian Halpern is yeah. here with me. Yes, I know he is. Uh... He and I have a, uh, a mutual friend uh, who I went to college with. Who uh, you have a lot of friends uh, I, out there, Ian. Yes, and uh, uh, I'm sorry, but Ian, dude, you are the most self-promoting. All right, let's get rid of this guy. I'm not going to have any negativity. You're Good. gone, caller. Good. Next caller. And you know what? And you know what? Next caller. If you're going to promote, who else is going to promote you if not yourself? Exactly. Right? Exactly. All right, let's Next caller. Doug in Boston. No, no, Doug. Yeah. Doug came yeah. on before. He had right. his chance. He made libelous statements. It. God, well, it's not libelous God. to say you're self promoting. It's very libelous what he said. Go, off, 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 off or I'm going to walk. Hang off. off. People who know off. you. Come on. Off. Doug, get a life off. Doug's gone. I got to be you. respectful of Ian Halperin. He wants I the guy the off. Guest. I can't. Yeah, you're the guest. I've uh, invited you into my home. You so graciously graced me with your presence. Well, it's a, it's a pleasure to be here, Sam. And I, I really, yeah. all the kidding aside, I'm very proud of what you've done. I I'm, I think your career is just going up and up. And, uh, you know, guys are getting old. Stern's yeah. getting old. These guys, I mean, they're still young, but... They're right, not Lady Trucker age, you're, are they? You're around uh, good company. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question. Please do. If there's one person yeah. you look up to in the radio business, who is it? Well, it's it's hard to say one person. It would be probably Opie Anthony and Jim. You know and what I mean? Jim. These are the three that I've been around since I was just a lowly intern. How long have you been here? Uh, eight, eight, over eight years. So you came as in as an intern. Yeah. Were you studying broadcasting? No, no. I learned from the school of hard knocks. I learned on the streets. I learned by coming to this show. You know, I was. Uh, and how did you get hired as an intern? Uh, why did, did they choose you? I don't know if you've looked around. I don't know if you saw the transition between Opie and Anthony in this show. If you looked at the interns that were cleaning up, it's not the most difficult thing in the world to get an internship with the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah. Maybe a lot of people think that, but it's not. Have you had any women being interns here? I yes. As a, a, Nikki's not here today. Is she, Rock? No, she's not. Okay. Very, we have a cute girl who's interning for us now. We had a couple cute girls interning for us over the summer. Yeah, now... So you were one of the guys who survived. Uh, that's exactly right. The thing about the intern, it's not that difficult to get an internship with the show. What makes it difficult is sticking around, finding a job, finding a place for yourself, and advancing, Ian. You know. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. not it's not a matter of, of winning a championship. It's a matter of holding it. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. It's easy to get there. It's tough to stay. You know, it's a very good point. It's right. really tough tough to stay there. I mean, Howard, he's one guy who's managed to stay there forever. Mm -hmm. He had so many people trying to bring him down over the years. Right. And these and guys Obie and all, Anthony the same way. It's exact same thing with O and A. I mean, you have down the hall, side by side, right. two of the biggest radio icons as shows go that we've ever seen in North America. I don't think I could be in better company. You can't. Right. You're like playing for the Yankees now. Right. And, and then, by the way, that makes it a little difficult because when you got somebody who's just starting baseball and he gets thrown on the Yankees roster, people are going to be a little critical. That's right. You know what I mean? You don't get to learn. But you also advance a whole lot quicker than you would What's otherwise. What's been your biggest highlight here? Uh, probably uh, the time I went to the bed-in. <laughs> no, and sir. got to get all, in bed. All kidding aside. I mean, all there are kidding, highlights yeah. happening all the but time. But your biggest one, all uh, kidding just, aside. Just last week, and it's hard to say because yeah. it happened just last week, we had Jenna Jameson on the show. How was that? It was great. It was Jim and I, though. She was on the after show. And Norton with, stuck with around. Jim. Yeah, Norton, me. I love Jim Norton, by the way. He's great. He's he, great. He is. He's, he's a consummate pro. But let me tell you about this Jenna Jameson. She came in to promote her book. Yeah. And Jim Norton stuck around with me. We interviewed her. Complete wreck. Like, Jenna is off the rails. She appeared to be on something. I don't know for a fact that she was, but she certainly gave off that impression. Uh, she wasn't following questions. She was incoherent, but we kept her for the whole 35 minutes. 
we uh, we put the interview out there. It's on YouTube. It was last week. It's well over a hundred thousand hits. What about Ron and Ron and uh, Fez? Uh, what, what, what were their names there? Ron and Fez. Are, are they on, still uh, around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they come here? on after this show. They're here after the show. After because these guys show. were huge too. Ron and Fez, of course. Yeah. And how, how's their show doing now? Great. I mean, Fez doesn't talk much, but so they're on the O and A network now. Yes, Ron yeah. and Fez are on the Opie and Anthony channel. Okay. And uh, yeah, their show's been gangbusters. I'm Gangbusters. Sure. Yeah, they're big. So yeah. as a channel right now, what's the lineup? You have O&A, what's yourself. Looking, you're looking at, and I wish you really should be listening to the channel more often, don't you think? I know. I, I got to. Uh, I feel like you should be listening to what we're doing you're because right. this is your bread and butter right here. You're right. So it's Opie and Anthony in the mornings. Yeah. Okay. After Opie and Anthony live with Sam Roberts. Yeah. Andy and Halpern on that, Sundays. That I knew. Then Ron and Fez. Yeah, that I knew. And then we replay. And then replay. So there's yeah. no other hitters. No. This is so it. It's the three of you. That's right. You need the cleanup hitter. Well, how do you what do you mean? You need a guy to bat cleanup. You Opie batting one, you two, Ron and Fez, number yeah. three. And they're legends in their own oh, right. Yeah. Oh, They've yeah. been around forever, those guys. Oh yeah. Very, very successful. Um we have if a, there's one guy you could interview, one who guy, would it be? Ian Halper. No, no, seriously. One guy I could interview. Uh, In today's world. There's a lot of people I'd, I'd love. To, right now, today. Right, dead or alive? Well, today, I would I would yeah. love to get Kanye West in here for an hour. Yeah, that would be good. That would be a great interview. And dead. Dead? Yeah, one 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 deceased person who... who I, Johnny did, Carson I would love to talk to. That would be the guy. I mean, and he's... Because you're looking at Johnny Carson as a guy who's not only... Right. Uh, does he have a career to speak of, but he knows everybody. I agree. Now, if you're allowed to ask the king of late night one question, one question only... Johnny Carson. Yes, what do you ask him? <sighs> only one question. I guess it would have to be your favorite piece of puss. Isn't that the question you ask? I, I would ask him something else. What would you ask him? One moment on his show mm -hmm. that defined his career that took him to the next level. But don't you think other people have asked him that question before? Not sure. I don't know what the answer is, so maybe they haven't. You, I'm not sure. But you, that's what you'd I'd be probably curious. ask him if he wears a cock ring. <laughs> that's, that's be, those are the questions you need to get <laughs> exactly. to the bottom of, because you know nobody's asked him before. Well, Johnny had a lot of pussy. He did. I mean, I, I I saw pictures once, I believe, of Sally Fields. He was involved. Do you remember that? that was the graphic photos? Uh, they were taking the sun together. He was wearing a towel. Who knows what? Probably a cock ring underneath. underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can you Google that? You're good at Googling Sally Field and Johnny Carson. Well, I can't Google it from here. I'm hosting Because you're now. working now. Maybe yeah. we'll Google after the show. Who's on the hotline, Eric? Oh, uh, uh, Jose. I worship you. Jose, Hello. Yes, I just want to say to your highness, I love them and I worship them. Hey, Jose. Jose, I love the name because there's been some great baseball players, some great dignitaries, some great entertainers. Right. Jose Feliciano. Jose Batisto, Jose Canseco. Jose, can you see? Is a great, uh, <laughs> Jose, you can it? you? Jose, where are you calling from today? I am calling you from Montreal, Canada. I need my dog, His Highness, after you. Now, uh, where, where do you live in Montreal, that's Jose? That's a good question. Love, 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 love. What street are you on in Montreal, Great Jose? question. Love, now, love, love. Ian, did you meet Roland today? I believe I did. Our yeah. talent booker? Yeah. Jose sounds uh, very much very like much Roland. Like him. I, and, I, uh, Jose, the... what a name. Yeah, they do sound alike. I, and I, I slipped I slipped uh, Roland maybe 20 bucks to make this call. You, you did? Think? Well, it worked. And we got a chick on the phone. Uh, bring him on. Denise in New York. Hey, primetime Sam Roberts. How, How are you? love the show. Thanks. Um, as a matter of fact, I love the show so much I always listen to it. And I'm a little disappointed today. You usually get such good guests. And I oh. had to Google this guy to see who he was. Well, he's Ian Alpern. He's I'm his highness to, Hollywood. I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Denise, uh, really. Uh, so sorry. So well, sorry to make your day yeah. bad. But uh, you sound like you have a nice voice. I wish you all the oh, best. Oh, well, thanks. Hey, Sam, is there anything I can win today? Uh, yeah, I'll give you a copy of uh, The Hangover 3 on Blu-ray. All right, make sure you sign it, okay? Hey, Denise, we'll Denise, hold on a second. Leave her here. She has a nice voice. What do you do, Denise? Um, I am um, the wife of a trucker and I'm a housewife. All right, hey. and uh, does the trucker bang you well? Excuse Great me? Great question. Uh, do, does the trucker bang you well? Um, he does okay. He does okay. Yeah? 
How, how many times a night can he go? Because wow. I heard truckers have extreme endurance. Libidos, well, you, too. You have to realize that, you know, he's on the road a lot. So when he's home, we got to make up for lost time. And do you think he's monogamous when he's on the road? Does he... Uh, no, no, lot li- no lot lizards? Well, but believe me, if someone was going to be paying, they'd be paying him. All right. Um, oh, he's that hot? Sure, he married me. I wouldn't marry the garbage. Oh, yeah? How big is his machacho? That's a great question, Ian. You know, I, I think you seem a little interested in my husband. <laughs> That's well, no, a great I, response. I, I, I mean, I, I, you sound like a classy woman, and I just want to make sure right. that you're well positioned and that you're happy in your life. You, you know, sound like a straight arrow, Denise. Denise, I'm going to. You sound yeah. like a combination of Princess Diana meets Roseanne Barr, and I'm <laughs> trying beautiful. to decide who you That's are. Beautiful. Denise, I'm going to put you on hold. And the uh, phone screener is going to get your address. Hey, have a good day, Denise. I have to talk to Ian about your new life. You used to come in here. You'd call up. You'd talk about all the chicks that you're banging. Do you think I mellowed? You'd bring chicks in. Do you think I mellowed, Robert? I think you've mellowed. Let me. You, people must confuse you. There's a rocker up in Canada called Sam Roberts. Oh, I know. Canadian people know he is. He's not big in the States. He's not. But He's never you, broken the States. Is there any confusion between the two of you? I mean, do people email you and thinking, you know, vice versa? Uh, no. Every now and then, somebody will pipe up on a YouTube comment. Is that comment. your real name, by the way? Sam Roberts. Yeah, it's a beautiful broadcasting name, is it, it not? It is. But is Thank it the, you. a lot of people change their name. No, I'm not. Not me. You know, a lot of Jewish people change their name because they didn't want to be called, like, Chaim Lewinsky. So right. they change Is it. Ian Halpern your birth name? It is. That's beautiful. And, but Sam Roberts is your birth name. That's my birth name, Samuel. Samuel. Yeah. And the middle name? Wood. Samuel W. Roberts. That's a great name, isn't it? I, I think that's a very distinguished name. My question, though, is yes. have what is it like for you, the king, the former yeah. king of pussy getting? <laughs> that's what they called you to now be in a relationship. Yeah, I, I don't miss those days at all. You, you don't. You live one life. What about all that strange? It's one kick at the can, no dress rehearsal, Mm -hmm. and every day is a new day, and you got to respect every day and reap the most benefits out of every day. Right. End of story. Get that pussy is what you're saying. No. 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 I read you you wrong on that. You get over it. Look at yourself. You're married. I'm You're married. wearing the ring. Yeah. Are you happy? I couldn't be happier. What does she do? She uh, works for a movie studio, an animation movie studio. 3D? matter of fact. Uh, yeah, they do 3D movies, sure. A big which studio? Uh, it's one of the it's it, it's it's one of the top studios. They make real movies. Pixar? No, it's not Pixar, but it's on the level of Pixar. And they're in the city, or uh, uh, yeah, they're in New York. So which studio? Give us the name. I'm yeah. not going to give you the name because then, well, I mean, I guess if why yeah, not give it, them a plug? It's the company yeah. that makes uh, Ice Age and 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 those movies. Well, big, that's a big brand. Big brand. That's a huge okay. brand. And what does she do? She's a creative executive there. And how did you meet her? We met. We went to the same high school. That's awesome. We've known each other for many years. So you've been together forever. Yeah, we we've been together as long as I've been with the show. Actually, and any kids on the way? Not yet. But you want to have children at some point? Sure. What about the girl you're it's, with, Ian? You're all questions, no answers. Uh, no, I'm, I, I'm a journalist. I have to ask questions. I understand, uh, but I'm a broadcaster. I, I'm keeping the girl very private. She's really nice. What's her uh, first name? You tell me that. I'm, I'm not going to say her. What first does it start name. with? I'm not going to say. Is her it Brittany? First name. No, it's not Brittany. Okay, I thought it was Brittany. What no, she Brittany. Do? So she's a private person. Yeah. This must be... She uh, has a master's. So does she business. understand what it's like for you to be a public person? When you come home and you've yeah. got tweets that are saying some great, many not so great. Yeah. When you get when you got strangers coming up to you on the street, videoing you, allegedly crying outside of a Burger King. Yeah, yeah. Does she understand the life of a public person like you? Um, sure. She I mean, does. It's, I'm, not, I'm not so public mm-hmm. and of course i mean it's and how many times do you bang her per night per night per night on a given night on a good night i'd say 11 times a week what 11 times a week? how old Absolutely. are you ian i'm not gonna tell you more uh, or less give me give me a give me a ball how, how old do i look to you uh i'd say 42 all right we'll, we'll keep it at that okay. uh, i'm not gonna get into so we'll jump around we'll jump uh, up a little we'll, bit we'll jump up a bit 45 yeah, then uh, at 45 years old yeah you're banging 11 times a week? Yeah, do I look in shape? You look in great shape. Yeah. And you know, you come in and you told me I look like a disaster. No, I said, I said, 
you look like you're overworked. I'm good. I'm I'm good so for you, maybe you, three times a week. You know, I don't, I'm not worried eleven. About, I'm worried about you. You are. I don't want you to die young. Right. The mortality rate is still a hundred percent. Yes or no? Yes. In sixty years, will this show still be on the air? Here? I wouldn't think so. No. All right. How could it? So we agree on something, Roberts. Right. Now that's two things. I came in here, and I I love you. Thank but you very I, much. I was worried about you. I see. Because you look white. Mm -hmm. well, I'm you a look white like person. you haven't left this studio since I've been on the show. I, but look at what I've done. You've done great. Right. But how far did that get a lot of guys in this business who just burnt out and faded away? I won't let that happen, Ian. You know why? They all say that. But you know why I won't let it happen? Because I have in my mind, I can't disappoint his Highness Hollywood Ian Halpern. Thank you. A lot of people don't have that. What's the game plan? What's your five-year plan? The five-year plan? Well, you know. right now, I feel like I'm in a great place with this show yeah. and this brand. I feel like I'm doing a great job of taking my brand and building it off of this brand. So if we can keep moving at the pace we're moving at now, we should be right on par for the Sam Roberts show to become a regular entity outside of the Opie and Anthony world. Not to say I won't also exist inside the open. I think that's world. a good plan. That's the plan. And I think it's feasible. Thank you. Because you paid your dues. Right. You're a smart guy. Mm -hmm. uh, Immensely talented. You ask good questions. Thank you. And I think you just got to stay with the program. Let and, me ask you. But you got to be healthy. Are right. you eating well? Uh, no, that's not. Do you eat I, a lot of junk food? Uh, I, not, I don't eat a lot in okay. general. I'm a skinny guy. Yeah, you are. But I, do, I can't give up on soda pop. Can't give up on fast food. Can't do it. What what fast food do you eat? Uh, I'll have I'll I'll help myself to a bit of KFC. I will. Yeah, I will. I'll yeah. stop at a Popeyes if I see it. I will. Do you I'll do ever that. read the ingredients? No. What goes into this stuff? No. Do you agree? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. That we're a product of what goes into ourselves. Um, I could see. Yeah, of course. Sure. Yeah. 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 I think I think what you need is a. Um, you need to consult with a nutrition expert. I feel like that's because what, that's I need to start your treating life. myself yeah. like a superstar. Yeah. Because I want to be treated your, like a superstar. Absolutely. You're abusing yourself now. And what I suggest to you, Roberts, right. instead of going out seven times a week mm -hmm. and having a bunch of junk food, sure. go out one time a week and do it properly. Cheat day. You could have a cheat day. Cheat day. Why not? Let me ask you. I'm worried about you. Don't worry about me. No, no, I'm, I, great. I'm worried. I'm worried about you because you, you, you look white. You tell I'm white. A lot yeah. of people thought I was black all these years. <laughs> you tell me. How long have you been seeing this girl of yours? I'm not going to talk about relationships. More or less. Uh, More than a year, less than a year. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say. Maybe With less all, than a year. All due respect to her, she's an amazing woman. Do you and, use protection uh, when you have sex? When you fornicate? Course. Of you course, do. You on. do. It's smart. Of course. Come on. I'm a germaphobe. You, you are. Know, oh, is that what it's about? Yeah, but you probably, I mean, it's one thing. So you've always used condoms when you were hooking up absolutely. with these girls before your relationship. In a relationship, you will still use condoms. Absolutely. How long do you have to be in a relationship before you stop using condoms? I'll only do it when we decide if we want to pull the trigger and have uh, kids. Is the age yeah. difference enough that, that that is a possibility? Yeah. It is. Of course. Is this, is this the girl that you might marry? Um, Could you make I, her? I don't Brittany believe Halpern? in marriage. In, institution of marriage in North America, with all due respect to anybody in marriage, the numbers are almost at sixty percent today that dissolve. Mm -hmm. And I think you have to look at alternative ways of coexisting and of uh, expressing love in today's world. So, uh, to be right on with you, I think we have to reinvent uh, the, like, cu the Cupid formula. So you're and, like, this is my bitch who I'm with. No, but that's not no, to say... No, no. I mean... Something like that? There's a lot of people who are together who don't get married mm -hmm. for various reasons. And you have to respect those reasons. You can't, Roberts, go against the numbers. Right. Percentages dictate. But I did. You cannot go against the majority. But I did. You did? I got married. But you're only, what, a year and a half into the equation? A year and a half, but I've, we've been in a relationship what for eight years. What was the wedding date? Do you still remember the date? Uh, June 11th, I'd like to say. Okay, June's a good time to get married. Did it you is. have a nice day? Was it beautiful oh, outside? Great wedding. Were you crying? Beautiful day. I'm not going to say I was crying. Well, there was a little was mist. Was there a hoopah? There was a little mist. We, uh, we did, uh, she's half Jewish. All You'll right. like that. You'll be very pleased about Father that. Father or mother? Uh, Mother. I mean, she's Jewish. So you'll be happy about that. Not half. She's Jewish. So that means if we have children, Jews? 
Yeah. That could be good for them because show business loves yeah. a Jew. Do you like Jews? I, lo- I mean, I married one, right? Yeah. So what does that say? No, you're, I'm just asking. I mean, you're a lot, Jewish. A lot of people don't. Do I look Jewish? Do you look Jewish? I don't think yeah. so. I don't know what, I, what I'm that... I'm very is. Jewish. Yeah. But I like you. Yeah, likewise. You know? I, I think it's fantastic that you married a Jew because interracial is what works best today. And I think you're giving your kids options of learning about both cultures. Right. And uh, more variety. It's a fast world today. And the more options you have, the better. Is the woman that you're with different? Is she Jewish? No. Oh, so you like that? Yeah, I like interracial. I'm like yourself. Is she a different uh, ethnicity than you? Uh, you're talking about color? What color. You, no, she's... Uh, she's white. She's whiter than you, Robert. She is. Yeah. You worry about her? I'm very worried about her. She's going to get some I'm, color. I'm, I'm making her take beet juice every day. Is that what helps? Carrot juice. Ginger. <laughs> when was the last time you had ginger, Robert? You used to come on here and talk about your affinity for black women. Yeah. Is this a point of contention? Because I'll tell you this, Ian. Yeah, you're, but we're talking about the past. But I'll tell you. I, I live in the present. I'll give you a. a Have you ever banged a black chick? Oh, yeah. And I'll give and you a story about how, me. How was it? It was great. How, how did the but, puss smell? It smelled fine. Yeah. It smelled great. I mean, did, to me, there is not. Did you lick the puss? I did. Nice. You're a good man. To me, there's not a difference. Yeah. You know, a lot of people say that, that there there's is, no but that, there is, there is no difference. Um, however, when I first started dating the girl who went on to be my wife, she was a little insecure about when I when she'd see me, you know, giving the up and down to a black chick. She'd say, well, what's that about? Because that's the one thing that she, she's not black. She'll never be black. What can she do? Yeah. Is the girl that you're with looking at your history, looking at your affinity <sighs> for ethnic women and saying that makes me a little insecure? No, not at all. She's not. Not at all. You know, you have to live in the presence. You have to embrace every day with respect, with dignity. Right. And. And the past, there's only so much we can do about the past. It's gone. We can't bring it back. All you can do is embrace it, quite frankly. You know, I respect baseball teams Mm -hmm. who play like 390, 400 one year, and the next year they come back, and they're on fire. Look at the Colorado Avalanche this year in hockey. Right. Are you a hockey fan, Roberts? No. No, I don't know what you're last talking about. Last time I checked, they had a terrible season last year. They're ten and one this year. Right? Do we have any sport fans who are going to call in here today? I mean, you look at the New York Giants. His Highness, yeah, the That's Giants. That's the reverse, what isn't are they? it? One and six. One and in... right. Did they win this week or they, they won this weekend? So they're two or no, one? no, no. That's one. one. That's one. But they got one. They got a, a, a Super Bowl quarterback. And would it there. surprise you if next year they come back and they have a ten and six season and they win the Super Bowl? You love the comeback story. I love it. That's your shit. I love the comeback. Because when you could say I could sit here. You said something very profound today, Robert. You right. said it's easy to get there. Yep. But it's tough to sustain. Right. And that's the key. Sustaining. It's so difficult because then you have everybody and their uncle breathing down your back. Right. Like guess what? Are you going to let me stay with you as a house guest you, episode? You want it? Yeah, you can I'm stay in my place. I'm going to pitch that to my producer. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I think it would we be. We go on adventures together. I live in Westchester, New York. That's a nice place. That's it's do great. Do you own? No, I rent. What are you paying a month there? Uh, Less than 2000 That's a great deal. It's a great deal. How many bedrooms? Uh, One and a half. That's fantastic. For two people? How, how many you do you find need? that? I just looked. I opened my eyes, you know. That's an amazing deal. I became aware. Let me... How, talk. What's the train ride from Westchester to here? Train ride's only 35 minutes, but I drive. And do people recognize you on the train now? I do drive. They, they drive. You drive. Because well, I have to get here so early in the morning. You drive alone or you drive with your no, better I, half? No, I drive alone. Um, but I'm going to tell you... You both have cars? Oh, yeah. And I'm going to tell you this, Ian. I get recognized all the time. Out on the street in New York. I'm sure. Everywhere yeah. I go. How's it feel? Great. Do you yeah, like it? Never better. Does it inflate your ego? Oh, yeah. Do you wear glasses, Robert? Uh, sunglasses? I'll wear sunglasses, but only to protect my eyes from the UV, not for uh, you know yeah. aesthetics. Yeah. I'm going to talk to you yes. about people of different ethnicities. You know who Russell Peters is? Yes, great. Great well, comedian, is he amazing, not? Amazing, amazing. Amazing, wow. Orange amazing. is the New Black, House of Cards, Arrested Development. Are you ready for the next big thing from Netflix? Yeah. I hope so. Prepare yourself for Notorious. Netflix's newest comedy special starring international stand-up sensation Russell Peters. Russell started doing stand-up as a kid in his native Toronto, and now he's one of the biggest comedians in the entire world. 
Ian, you're from you're you're a Canadian. No, he, you understand he, he, how massive he's a this giant. guy is. He's a giant. It really is. Extremely talented. Over seventy five million views on YouTube, nearly a million Facebook fans, and one of the most diverse audiences on the planet. He's sold out arenas like Madison Square Garden and Sydney's Royal Opera House. Ian, that's in Australia. Yeah. Also launching with Russell's new special, Notorious, is Russell Peters vs. the World, an exclusive four-part series that takes you behind the scenes on Russell's tour and has tons of great outtakes and interviews with his family and friends. Don't miss Notorious and Russell Peters vs. the World, now streaming only on Netflix. Ian, I gotta ask you. you are, you're now talking about this reality show. Yeah. That you're doing now where you live in people's homes. And yeah. like I said, I want you in my home. I think this could be a I, great episode. I'm going to pitch it. Is this the end of Ian Halperin, celebrity journalist, tearing the 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 the, the wool off from people's eyes and exposing <laughs> the seedy underbelly of people like Michael Jackson and Courtney Love and 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 the governor himself? Well, I, are we done exposing celebrities? Yeah, I think I think that's a thing of the past. I did for so mm. many years, and you know, you always got to keep progressing. Yeah, I've been doing movies for about eight years now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I never say never, but do celebrities get mad at you when you come out with these books? No, I mean, my books are fair; they're balanced. You yeah, know? but I mean, they're even not hatchet jobs. A celebrity doesn't want a balanced book. A celebrity wants a book that's completely in their favor. Yeah, they want a puff piece. Right. I, I don't do puff pieces, and you know that I very know. well, Robert. That's why I have you on. I wouldn't yeah. have on no. some no puff pieces. But uh, I'm more, you know, I'm a serious filmmaker. I've been doing movies. I I love the art of filmmaking, and it's just so exciting today with Netflix out there. Oh, we're just talking about YouTube. Yeah. Uh, people have access to information, and the key is to give the people choices. And, and they have so many choices right now. How many people are listening to this show today? Uh, hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. I would say so. Well, does that mean half a million, seven fifty? What's your guess? I'll say three quarters of a million people at least. All right, so get me one more woman on the line. Come All right, on. one All right. more woman out of seven fifty. Let's see. Conrad in Canada, are no, you a woman? A hmm. He didn't can't even answer the phone. What about Carl in Boston? Is that a woman's name? No, it's Keith. Same thing, you know. All right, well, no, no guys. No, no guys. guys. Okay. All right. Let me talk to then I guess Dave, that sounds feminine. Dave in Long Island. Sammy. What's up, buddy? Hey. You cannot let this princess stay at your house. Why? His reality show is a scam. To do what? He's What's he's freeloading, staying in people's houses? Uh, to... He'll it... be the first guy watching it. You know, you know one thing I'll tell you: all these detractors. Yeah. Without them, I probably would have sold two books in my career. They all they'll talk shit, but yeah, then they'll go out and buy the, the books. first guys to buy it. They're the first guys to watch the show. It's amazing. And do they act as motivation for you? Um, Nah, you know, I wish them all the best. To they be don't even affect you. you. They don't affect me at all. Like Jay-Z said, I, uh, you brush that dirt off your shoulder. That's it. That's you it. know, uh, do you think I'm a talented guy, Robert? I think so, Ian. I think yeah. specifically in your way with words yeah. and your, your your the passion and the art with which you can sell your projects. I mean, people say what they want to say about you, but you, this book, oh, this book's never going to get made. Yeah. Well, all of a sudden, the governor is on a bookshelf. Yeah. All of a sudden, this Lady Gaga movie's on the TV Guide channel. Why do you think they hate me so much? you think they're anti-Jewish? What, what, what's the deal? you think they're jealous? Um, I think there's some anti-Semitism. Yeah. I think uh, people don't like a self-motivated person. I think uh, the uh, level to which you are self-assured uh, might strike people as somewhat less than endearing. Yeah. Uh, and I think that has a lot to do with it. I think uh, when a person is their own biggest fan, people feel like they don't need to get behind them anymore. That's a good point. Right? That's a very good point. Right? Um, you know, I got to say this. Uh, how, how, how much time? How much Only race? a minute or two. Only a minute. We're running out of racetrack. Right. There's not a lot of time. We here. almost hit that finish line. Yeah. Let me get one woman on the line. Well, while we're waiting before we leave, there well, has to be one woman on the line because I'm going to ask a question too. Oh, this is going to be good. And if she gets the answer, do you have something to give her? Oh yeah. All right, let's get one woman on the line, and I'm going to throw out a question. While we're waiting for that, you know about getting your woman gifts. Are you, are you now that you're a monogamous man, you have yeah. to get her gifts all the time yeah. when you need to get 
the woman in your life a gift. Yes. As you tend to do. You want it to be a great gift. Is that right? Yes. It's got to be great. Steven Singer is the guy who's going to help you find the perfect gift. You know, the more you procrastinate in buying her holiday present, the guiltier that you're going to feel. The guiltier that you feel, the bigger the present that you're going to end up buying. Not to worry. Steven Singer has what every woman wants. A really great pair of studs. Diamond studs. The beautiful sparkle. The simple elegance of the diamond stud on each ear. Steven Singer is going to make it easy and affordable. Check out his diamond stud earrings starting at just $199 online at IHateStevenSinger.com. These are really beautiful. High quality, bright white diamonds. When you shop at Steven Singer Jewelers, she'll never outgrow them. Not only does Steven have the best selection, quality, and price studs anywhere around, but he also has a lifetime upgrade guarantee. Get the woman in your life a great gift. Steven Singer Jewelers, the other corner of 8th and Walnut, 1-888-I-HATE-STEVEN-SINGER, or online at IHateStevenSinger.com. And let's go to Connie in Moose Jaw. Connie. Yes. Okay. Ramon. Give this man AIDS in his tuchus. You don't want AIDS in your tuchus, do you? That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's, it sounds like really nice, really nice people, these guys. Truly you know? ridiculous. Where, where are these people? You know, it's I don't just know, so but... sad that there's uh, people with such uh, vitriolic uh, attitudes out there. But You're I wish scaring them, them with those big words. You're scaring yeah. them with those big words right now. Is there a woman on the line? Because I have a question to ask. Uh, there are people calling up now, but we got to let Ron and Fez take over. Ron and Fez coming in. Okay, Roberts, let me give you a plug. Give me my plug. This is His Highness saying, listen to the Sam Roberts Show every weekday following the great ONA on Sirius XM. Love it. Thank you, Ian Halperin. Stay tuned. Always a pleasure. And bro. what's your Twitter? Uh, Ian Undercover. Ian Undercover on Twitter. Stay tuned. Ron and Fez are coming up Peace next. Out. Goodbye, everybody. The Mopey and Anthony Show is now over. For real this time. Check out the ONA Show on Facebook at facebook.com slash Opie and Anthony. And catch Opie and Anthony live Monday through Friday from 6 to 10 a.m. Eastern. Ron and Fez are next. Hey. hey. All right. Well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony Show five days a week live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony Show on Twitter, at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.